people will be headed to the Des Moines Arts Festival tonight. KCCI Cynthia Fodor is there live now to show us the clouds didn't keep the crowds away on this first day. Cynthia. Stacey and Kevin, over the weekend, an estimated 220,000 people are expected to come down here to the Western Gateway to see and enjoy all of the art, everything from these interesting, colorful weavings of flowers and trees to handmade silver jewelry with precious stones. And folks say they're not going to let it rain on their parade. One minute it was sunny. The next, Mother Nature painted the sky dark shades of gray. Then it was an instant downpour, but it didn't keep us from coming today. Josie Inn is huddled under a tent. It's just rain, and so it's a little rain doesn't hurt us and will dry off eventually. As the sky opened up, umbrellas went up and the panels protecting precious artwork came down. It's something that we all know exactly how to handle. Um, you know, weather is one of the things that unfortunately we have to deal with quite a lot in our lifestyles. So, I mean, the only thing that's sad about it is that it, you know, sometimes keeps some people away. It didn't keep the Lysteads away. They drove hours through a downpour to get here. And we're not just looking, but looking to buy. It's not the deal. It's just, you know, the, uh, the artist himself. And we just like his, his, his pottery. This year you can find art under $200, but if that's out of your price range, you can buy a poster or t shirt designed for this event. We made this specifically for the show, and it's based on um, several different photographs of the Des Moines area in the 1950s, um, and then also, of course, includes the Capitol. Or take home a piece of the Art Fest, literally, a tote bag recycled from last year's banners. If you don't mind, a little water in it. We didn't care if we got wet, we just wanted to come and see the artwork that was here, so. And what do you think of it so far? Oh, just fabulous stuff and from all over the country. So um, it's something on our calendar every year, and we weren't going to miss it. Five artists are set up here displaying their wares tonight, and the stage is also set for the performing arts. A big concert at 8:30. 10,000 maniacs will be playing. The art fest is open until 10 o'clock tonight, all day tomorrow, and it runs through 5 o'clock on Sunday. Stacy and Kevin. Looks like a lot of fun. Cynthia.